you know, to, to go under the radar and keep in there. And, um, but I thought the performance wasn't under the radar today. It was absolutely excellent against a very good Motherwell's team um, that have given us a lot of problems. And you know, for a wee bit better finishing, a bit better luck, we probably won by three or four. But um, listen, we can't be choosy. It was a it was a fantastic team performance. Going into this game, how optimistic were you of getting the result and getting to Europe at the end of the day? I was optimistic of getting the result. Whether it panned out that, that there were the results up there, we, we obviously we couldn't. Um, we couldn't do anything about that, but I was confident the lads looked focused, they looked hungry, even after the Celtic defeat we come in, we, we, we obviously took it on the chin and we um, we went again, and, and that's that, that's what the boys have been like. I knew, like, since I've been here 16 months, we'll have our ups and downs and bad performances and bad results, but we've always bounced back, and, 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 and that's credit and testimony to the lads' mentality uh, and professionalism. It's just the place is jumping. Uh, you know, there's beer getting thrown about all the place, beach balls getting thrown about. So, no, it's, I mean, it's just been an incredible day. And, you know, for this club to finish third in the SPL and get back to back trips to Europe is, is just incredible. Uh, I have to ask you, Timmy, through your goal. In fairness, it just, you know, it fell perfect and took a touch. And as soon as I had it, you know, I knew I had a chance. And, you know, it, it was great to, to, uh, to get the goal to put us in front. And then Nigel's goal was obviously the killer just after half time. And, you know, it just it just shows this team. This team, it's all about sticking together. And you know, we've showed that time and time again this year. And you know, over the time I've been here, it's always been about the team and a squad, and that's how we've been successful. Whenever we get a crowd here and it gets behind the team, you see the level of performance. It shouldn't be, but it does. It, it, you know, any player tell you playing playing in front of 2,000 where it's quiet to playing in front of 5,000. And I must I must credit Motherwell fans came in the numbers, nothing really to play for, but they've come to give their team a good send off, and um, they're a credit to the club as well. And I thought it had a good atmosphere about the game. It was a proper game. It's not about me or my last game, it's always about the team and doing well and uh, you know that's why we are where we are because it's always been about the team and the fact that I've contributed with a goal today and you know a few other goals, you know, it's just it's just been uh, it's been great for me personally. But like I say, when I've not been having a good game it's been other players, other squad players that have uh, got us over the line and you know that's why we are where we are. Very proud of, like I said, probably twice this year I've had to raise my voice and that that's not bad um, for a club where we're at. Um, I've said to the poor fans they should enjoy today um, because um, I don't think it gets any better than, 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 than two back-to-back -back, um, European um, qualifications. And last question, any pre preference for the country for the first round of the Europa League? Somewhere was not as hot, you know what I mean? I'm going away to Tenerife to acclimatise, but that was seriously hot last year. And um, But listen, we'll take where, where we get, you know, and hopefully we can get past, um, you know, the first round this time. Cheers. Cheers.